basketball season is officially over now that the Toronto Raptors are NBA champs and all for the first time. But longtime basketball fans in Dallas might recognize the man that we are about to show you here. He was the voice of basketball in this city long before the Mavs were born. Chris Adi reminisces with him in today's Daybreak Rewind. About 29 years old at the time. The pictures show a past life. So Dr. J was one of the greatest. With timeless legends. This was in 1967. From a bygone era. Well, I remember that night. And Terry Stembridge that. can still tell you every detail. You remember all these guys. Oh, I do. I remember every one of them. I can tell you stories about little fellow there, Joe Hamilton. In the 60s and 70s, the Dallas Chaparrales were the city's first real taste of professional basketball. From Memorial Auditorium in Dallas, Texas. And Stembridge was their radio voice. Hello and good evening, everyone. This is Terry Stimbrick. For six seasons, Dallas was a city in the American Basketball Association. And the ABA brought a completely revolutionized basketball. The tickets were cheap. And the cheap seats were $3. The ball was colorful. The red, white, and blue basketball crowds loved it. It was a sensational marketing tool. But the Chaparrales were competing with the Cowboys and later the new baseball team in Arlington. We were always generally on the back pages of the Dallas papers. The crowds were too small, it cost too much. Film from the SMU Jones Film Archive shows the final game they ever played in Dallas, a win over the Carolina Cougars. And possibly the smallest crowd that I've ever seen at Memorial Auditorium, and perhaps that's only fitting and quite a testimony to why this ball club is leaving town. Well, that was really a sad evening. The team was sold to buyers from San Antonio, and Stimbridge went with them when they moved the team to become the now rival San Antonio Spurs. He works now in the oil industry in Kilgore, and just one question remains. Mavericks or Spurs? I'm a season ticket holder. Mavericks? Mavericks. <laughs> Section 116, row, seat six and seven. Best seats in the house. Just like he had to witness a Dallas sports era gone but not forgotten. For the final time from Memorial in Dallas, this is Terry Stembridge. In Kilgore, I'm Chris Sadegi. The ABA. I know, who knew? I love a Daybreak Rewind. I feel like I get a local education every time I, I watch. I know, good job, Chris. Thanks for that. <laughs>